I was about to... Alright, Ivory, you just taken a good hit from those, uh, kobolds. Uh, Skaith, I was wondering what you were going to do next as, uh, you heard a noise behind you of something rustling around these few armor sets that are still standing. I'm really mad, so I want to charge it. Charge what? This noise you hear behind you? Alright, She's uh, got those guys handled. It, whatever this is, it's hiding right behind one of the armor sets behind you. You don't think it knows you can tell it ran behind there. You just want to tackle this armor set? Yes. Alright, roll it. Sixteen. Alright, you take this thing down like if it were an opposing football member. This armor goes clattering to the floor and whatever it is you have pushed to the ground. You look up to adjust your vision. What you see is a very frail, very light-skinned Illithid, who looks worse for wear. He's wearing rags. Not at all like you would expect a normal Illithid or Mind Flayer. Really? This thing hisses at you and uh, points back at you. Roll to challenge once more. It peers into your soul as you have no effect, as you have been traumatized enough for one day. This thing clamors to its feet and tries to run away from you to hide elsewhere. Before it gets the chance, I just swing at it. With? With what? Since I'm at close range, I'm going to use my uh, knife and chain trying try to make it disintegrate. Alright, uh, roll it. All right. You are at close range, uh, but you are kind of on armor as well. You happen to strike this thing pretty good with the whip, but you miss with the dagger. As this thing kind of clamors away from you still, it kind of runs around, but this thing knows you mean business now. Ivory, get rid of these kobolds. I want to swing at him again and try and kill him. Okay. The triple swing again? Yeah. Okay. Roll it three times. Hit. 18. Hit. 15. Hit. The first one goes down. The second two have been just about bloodied. They I'll go in for one more swing. Uh, I'm going to retaliate before you can do that. I rolled with an at one. Ooh, and a crit. Exact opposites. First one falls flat on his feet. Second who blinds at you, oh, goes with a six. That is a good 25 damage as this one cuts you upside the face. Scathe? What's up? I'm going to take out my short sword and just start charging at this worse for wear elephant. Alright, um... Go ahead and roll it as this thing will try to run essentially back towards the stairs. I got a 16. Alright, you give it a good slash to this thing's back, but it still trudges on. Did I at least slow it down? It did not seem to break stride. Ah. This thing will make it to the small hallway before the stairs and duck behind a pillar. Alright, Ivory then, I guess. I'm going to use my ruin. Your magic ruin again? Yeah. Roll it, what do you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, materializes in front of you is a uh, sword with a very uh, lavish purple uh, handle. And inscripted on it, you believe it will give you the power to mind control something. How ironic. Alright, you heard something run past you and you look behind you and happen to see Skaith. You did not happen to see whatever it was in front of Skaith. You were busy trying to not die from these kobolds. 
So you don't know where it's at or what it was, so unfortunately you can't pinpoint it. I'm gonna save that. I don't want to use it yet. Okay. Am I allowed to sheep it? Yeah, you can hold on to it for until it disappears. It doesn't disappear until I use it, though, does it? Correct. You know you'll get a one, at least a once use out of it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a, take a swing at these last two and try and get them out of my way. I will roll for one of these guys to retaliate since you just summoned a weapon and put it away instead of trying to attack them. He rolled a five. He didn't even make it close to your armor class. Go for it. Okay. I rolled a 13. Dead. And a 12. Dead. Those last kobolds go down. Scave? I use my rune. Roll it. 13. Alright. Uh, same deal, the mind control sword. Roll for another one. 14. 14. Alright, you get a cutlass which forms in front of you, which just glows pure with energy. Uh, you are unsure what kind, but it just glows pure with bright energy. Am I close enough to swing at the flare? It ducked behind a pillar and out of your eyesight. You know it's around a pillar in front of you. At least you think it does. So essentially, you can't see it anymore. Essentially. I want to try and seek it out. Now, well, hold on. Can I take a test swing with the sword at the pillar? See what it does? Sure. I want to try it. I'm swinging with the cutlass. You want to try and cut into the pillar? Yeah. With, like, enough force to, like, test or just, like, cleave it in two? Like, what are you trying to do right now? I am venting all of my frustration out on this pillar. Okay. Uh, you don't even need to roll. You're so you're practically enraged right now. Any more, you'd probably go into a frenzy. Um, this cutlass cuts through this very marbled pillar like it were butter, and just cleaves it in two. To which its energy just it literally like evaporates a good section through this this pillar actually gives way from the ceiling, BAM! Slams down on the gap you've made and falls to the side. You see the big opening through the now missing pillar. There is no illithid on the other side as far as you can see. This he cutlass might disappears. Might have turned invisible. Uh, Ivory, you know whatever he's after is obviously, like, right around there. Hey, can I roll perception to try and figure out where that thing is? Uh, certainly. Go, well, yeah, go ahead. Eighteen. Alright, you believe it's around here. You just don't know quite where. Do you want to, where do you want to look for it at? Like, if you look at the map, there's three little diamond sections right there before the stairs. Yes, we are still yeah, on the second floor. floor. That should be the right one. Hold on, we gotta bring it back up. Mm -hmm. Since I accidentally... <laughs> yes, te technical difficulties. That is not the right one. It doesn't matter, we know, ex we know basically what it is. There's a small there. There's four pillars in you know a groups of two. Daniel just cleaved the one closest towards the left. So there's a pillar by itself now, and two pillars off to the other side. That's the only thing hide it hide that could be possibly hidden behind before the door to the stairs. You don't believe the door to the stairs opened. Alright, you take about two steps out, and you do notice there is a small, cowering, little, ragged for wear, illithid squid man hiding, crouched behind the second pillar. Okay, how does this sword work? Does it work if 
I strike him with it, or if I just point it at him, or... You believe it's easy enough to just point at it? Okay, I want to point it at him. You want to try and control this elephant? Yes. Alright, roll a contest. Fifteen. Seventeen, not enough. This thing takes notice from your brainwashing as you have tried to do. This thing instantly gets up and darts from behind this pillar. Scathe, you now see this obvious squid man darting just past you. Back into the center of the room with all the armor. Just kind of bolting it across. Let's see if I can't try and throw one of my obsidian daggers at him. Uh, roll it. I want this thing dead. Alright. You happen to lob this, but you are, you are pent up right now and your focus is getting off. Your rage is clouding your judgment and you barely miss him. And that's just making me more mad. I can't kill him! Uh, it gets into essentially the center of the room and points at you, Ivory. Um, roll a contest for me as your sword disappears. Right, just barely. I tied with a 17. You want to do one more contest or 50-50? One more contest. Okay, roll it. 19. I would you believe if I said I rolled a 19 as well. 50-50 it then. Okay. Heads is always good, tails is always bad. What would you like me to roll up? Or flip upwards? Tails. Okay. Well, bad news for you, Ivory. Landed on tails. Um, this elephant seems to vanish in midair. Then you look over, and Skate is just seething. He is fuming right now. It just, as far as you can tell, the elephant just vanished. I can't find him anywhere. He just disappeared from sight. Like you blinked and it's gone. Okay, I'm looking around for him. Right, Skaith, what would you like to do? I am so mad right now. Ivory duck. I pull out my broken uh, fire gun and just fire at random things. All right. Um. You do you just want to like start pull this thing out and just start clicking the trigger as much as you can, or do you like specifically want to try to aim or anything? I just click the trigger. I remember what happened last time I aimed. All right, you instantly pull this thing from out of your little bag, and you kind of just hold it haphazardly in front of you as you're prepared to start clicking this trigger and flinging this explosive gem weapon around. Your first trigger, the, the first shot you get off, this entire thing blows into shrapnel. Uh, you take a good 10 damage yourself as this thing kind of blows up in your face. This thing will explode into shrapnel all over. Um, Ivory, um... Give me another good 10 damage from you as a good shard of this will, a couple of shards will probably embed it in your shoulder. Um, this elephant is just standing in the middle of the room, and it will take a couple of shards, to which it will also run off toward this, let's see here, it will run off towards the left side, back towards the master, the private study. Why won't he die? You got a good couple of shards in him, but this thing kind of just blew up in your face. Um, Ivory, um, Daniel, Skate is just standing here, seething with rage, and this illithid has vanished, and all of a sudden your shoulder starts hurting. And you realize there is now shrapnel in your shoulder. And you don't know where it came from. Skip, you idiot! You don't know it was him. Oh, I don't see Scape. No, he's no, there, but he didn't do anything. You just all of a sudden you have shrapnel on your shoulder. No 
does it snap me out of my daze, or am I still in it? You, you're not in a daze. You're just fine. You, all of a sudden, there's just shrapnel on your shoulder. I'm already severely damaged, so I'm going to hide behind the pillar for safety. Are you cowering behind the pillars? I don't know what's pillars. going on. I just know I'm, in, I'm hurt, and I need to bandage myself up. Right, uh, Scathe, you see Ivory kind of duck behind one of these pillars, as you would probably expect, as you have embedded her with some shrapnel. But this flayer has ran around the corner into the star room. I give chase. All right, he... You see it had taken a right into the diamond room, into the uh, statue room in the back. Okay. Still giving chase? Still giving chase. You make it into the statue room. It's an elongated room like a gallery with very nice, like, Greek-style busts and full, like, person-sized statues just lined in place. Very artsy-fartsy. Very nice sculptures here and there. But it is dark. There is one window at the room at the back, and there is a curtain over it, so we're only enough of whatever light of outsideness, as it is dark outside now, streams in. You can only make out silhouettes from this window at the back. Mm -hmm. And you are pretty sure that one of these statues is this Mind Flayer. I want to roll my roulette gem again. Go for it. How about 12? 12? Uh, you... A large rod appears in front of you as you are summoned a halberd, uh, which has inscriptions on it, which you can make out enough that it is a uh, wind elemental halberd. This has some. So, could I like summon some sort of whirlwind to knock all these statues around? You believe it has some wind power. You are unsure if it summons something or if like it's an airbender thing. You just point it and it's a blast of wind. You're fairly uncertain. Well, I want to blast away as many of these statues as I can, so I'm just going to take a swing at uh, some of them. The, okay. Um, roll a d20 for me. Okay. 16. All right. Uh, you're fairly certain this thing will probably give out a large wave of wind as you slash with this halberd. It's a little bit longer than you expected, but you managed to knock over the... Uh, well, you managed to cut through this first statue in front of you and knock over the second one with a small uh, blast of wind trailing from your halberd, kind of rocketed through the rest of the room. It blows, it happens to upset a lot of these statues, knocking over a few of them, but there is a good amount of statues in this room. You, but the wind was powerful enough to uh, open up the curtain a little bit more so you can see definite outlines of these statues. The room is still dark. Ivory, what would you like to do? Skaith is sitting here just seething and with rage. He is not calming down. I don't have my sword anymore, do I? Nope. Not, not the mind control sword, no. Still got your short sword. Well, I mean, what do you want to do? He's... He's not a good... He's to be around right now. Apparently so. I mean, you're just hiding behind a corner. What would you like to do? What do you think is next? Um... I need to heal up. Okay. I shout to him and, ask, and try and get through to him enough to ask him if he has anything of healing. Says he does it. All right, I stand up and I muddle to the room with shards in my shoulder. Which room? The room with the statues that he's in. Why? Why do you go to the statue room? Because that's where he is. You don't know that. No, he's right there in the atrium with you. Oh. You're talking to him face to face. He just said he didn't have anything to help you heal. Calm him 
him down. He's in, still in the room, seething with he, anger. He seems a little bit more angry. The fact that whatever that this illithid has now gotten away. But he's not as enraged. He says, I bet he went downstairs, and he scathed rockets back towards the stairs. I'm gonna follow him. Alright, he makes it down the stairs before you even take turn the corner. So he's, like, rocketed down, down the stairs, and you're still right there on the first landing of the steps. Like, you haven't even made it down any steps yet, like, he unnaturally got down there too quickly. I pause and start rethinking things. Uh, roll perception to uh, uh, roll perception to uh, challenge. Fourteen. Oh, I rolled a four. Um, from this, you realize how did he get downstairs? He just vanished. He would have been invisible. He wouldn't have, you know, gotten past us unless we saw him or something. And you are no longer under any sort of influence. Okay. So, can I see him? Do I know where he is now? You are standing in the... You are standing right there in the stairwell. You're standing in the stairwell. Alone. By yourself. Okay, I head back into the little... You're back in the atrium. Uh, you hear lots of shattering noises from presumably around the corner near the statue room. Well, I can't exactly hide in here, hide in here and let him have all the fun, so I, I, I head in the direction where I'm hearing the noises. Alright, you make it to the star room and you can hear there's just noise upon noise of shattering mess in the statue room. I want to try and just calm down a little bit and do a, try and do a perception check to try and pinpoint where he might actually be. Okay, roll it. Uh, five. Five. I am oh. still too pissed. You have been turned around with that awesome display of wind power as well, so you're lost in the dark now. You make out forms, but you can't even see the window anymore. It's dark. But you hear shuffling behind you. I roll my roulette die. Your uh, magic rune? Yep. Roll it. One. One. All right, you have to form a rapier that has inscriptions on it which tells you you'd be able to shapeshift something or shapeshift yourself. Transmogrification rapier. Excellent. I am so mad right now. I want to turn into something... I want to turn into a dragon and just destroy these statues in one swipe. Alright. Uh, from your intelligence, you're not sure how well that's going to go. But you can certainly try. Just something huge. Tell me what you're thinking and tell me if you'd like to try it and then I will tell you to roll it. I'm thinking... I know. I've got something in my head. I want to try and turn into the forest god. Okay. <clears throat> Since I've seen it before, I might have a better chance. Okay. Uh, one roll to be able to do that. Twenty. Crit. Oh, wonders. Alright. You start... You have the image in mind as crystal clear as not to confuse this rune of anything or any unsureties of it as you are not exactly sure how this thing works. Uh, in a sense, you feel it start to work as you have gently tapped this rapier to your forehead. Um, Ivory, would you like to go in the room? Nope. Why not? That's where the shattering was. You're going to wait outside? What's up? You want to peek in? Yeah, I don't want to go in all the way. I kind of want to just peek in, because last thing I could remember, Skates was still pretty mad, so I don't know what he's up to. He hurt right, me last time. Right, right. You happen to 
can peek in the room, and it is dark. It is very dark in here. You can tell there are no lights at all. And you hear this very horrifying sound of limbs being broken. It just, just, it sounds like general agony. And it, you can kind of make out that whatever it is is Scaife. It's like he's being tortured or ripped asunder or something. Alright, uh, 